Hello everyone! Uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday, as uh, here we have a very nice game from a match that took place on Father's Day. It's Hikaru Nakamura vs Komodo, the Dragon Engine. Now, uh, it, it's a new engine on chess.com, it has uh, 20, uh, 20 levels, and uh, this is a game he played uh, against Komodo level 14. Now, in all of the games, Nakamura had the white pieces, uh, but uh, after the game, he also played, after the match of 20 games, uh, he played against all 20 levels, then he also played uh, three more games, but against a stronger, improved version. But we're gonna uh, visit that uh, after we check out this game. So, as uh, human engine uh, matches today are very rare, so it's very interesting that uh, Nakamura agreed to do this. And uh, we're gonna uh, check out his result after we check out this game. So, uh, prior to this game, he already defeated the first 13 levels, and now he faces level 14. Uh, I, I believe it's rated around uh, 2100 something, uh, but you know, if, if you think uh, that's like playing against a 21 something human, uh, you would be you would be mistaken because uh, it's always uh, more difficult to play against an engine. Uh, but you are also welcome to challenge level 14 yourselves and uh, see for yourself. So that being said, uh, let's check it out. Uh, Nakamura has the white pieces and he opens with b3, the nims of which Larsen attack, with, and he has the right idea. Uh, you don't want to you don't want to try uh, some aggressive openings and you know take uh, take the game immediately into uh, you know a he heavy combination waters so uh, better to go strategically into this match uh, we have d5 uh, bishop to b2 knight f6 e3 and c5 uh, knight to e2 knight to c6 and now d3 uh, d4 could have been uh, also played but uh, here nakamura plays d3 and he allows this d4 uh, okay, we have e4. Now this uh, dark square bishop isn't doing all that well. Uh, e5, g3, uh, bishop to e7. Nakamura uh, fianchettos the second bishop as well. And here uh, you could simply start uh, with castles, maybe develop the bishop or something. Uh, but here actually Stockfish, uh, not Stockfish, Komodo goes for a very interesting pawn sacrifice. Uh, here Komodo plays c4. And it's uh, very interesting that uh, you can you can actually capture this pawn with either the b pawn or the d pawn. But of course, it's always you know it's principle to capture towards the center. And it's inter inter interesting why Komodo does this. After b captures um, on c4, uh, queen to b6 is played. So developing the queen uh, with an attack on the bishop. So still forcing Nakamura to figure what to do here, and still kind of keeping his king in the center of the board. Uh, bishop to c1, getting the bishop out of the way. Now bishop to g4. Uh, we have castles, castles, and now h3, kicking the bishop back. Uh, bishop to d7, knight to d2. Uh, we have a6, and here Nakamura is up a pawn, but uh, his position is very boxed in. So here he decides uh, to seemingly ruin his position, but not really. Uh, he plays f4. We have e captures on f4, g captures on f4, uh, and now knight to e8. Uh, preparing to, uh, to <clears throat> remaneuver the knight and also make uh, make room for his bishops, and as you can see, the uh, the kingside uh, structure here of the pawns isn't all that great. Uh, but Nakamura will use this very nicely and use the G file to create uh, a nice attack against the black king. Knight to G3. We have bishop to H4, king to H2 now. Knight e7, knight to f3, and now bishop captures on g3. King captures, and yes, Nakamura's king is on g3, but you know, all is all is well here. Queen d6, uh, king goes back to h2, we have f6, and king goes back all the way to h1. Uh, rook to f7, and now queen to e1, preparing to bring the queen over to g3. Uh, knight g6, queen does come to g3, rook to b8, and king to h2 now. Uh, here, Komodo. Uh, seemingly doesn't have a plan. Probably b5 was the idea here, but for some reason uh, Komodo now plays rook to d8. Uh, we have f5, kicking away the knight, knight to e5, and now bishop to f4. Knight captures on f3 with check, uh, bishop captures, and now queen to b4. Uh, bringing the queen over to the queen side and uh, maybe go uh, after those weak pawns. But uh, Nakamura doesn't really care. He plays bishop to h5, attacks the rook here, rook to e7, and now rook to f2. Uh, preparing to bring this rook over to g2 and also preparing to bring the a1 rook all the way to g1. So, uh, queen to a3, uh, we have rook to g1, and now king to f8. Uh, you can't capture the a2 pawn. If you capture the a2 pawn, then you get bishop to d6. 
and uh, this rook doesn't have anywhere to go. Uh, and if you capture here, then queen captures, and uh, again, there's no way to save this rook. Uh, only square available to this rook is e5, but after this, of course, you get queen captures on f6, and it's game over. Uh, you can't defend both checkmate and queen captures on d8. Uh, so, after rook to g1, we have king to f8, and getting uh, out of the g file. Uh, rook f to g2, now with a nice triple barrier on the g file. Uh, bishop to a4, uh, and now queen to h4. And here, queen captures on a2 is played. Uh, Komodo really uh, underestimated Nakamura's attack here, and uh, uh, capturing a pawn, it's not about capturing a pawn just. Uh, there really, uh, th there is no better move you can do here. If you play something like uh, rook d to d7 to kind of maybe defend the position a bit more, uh, then you get this bishop to g6 idea. And of course, uh, now uh, uh, the queen can easily uh, come here to checkmate the black king. And of course, if you capture, then again, queen h8, king moves, now pawn captures, king escapes, and now uh, queen to g8. Uh, rook to f7, and now comes queen to e8 check. And the king has nowhere to go, so you have to block with the rook once again. Rook moves, and now queen to g8, a nice windmill idea. Uh, rook has to block again, and now pawn captures. And here... Uh, black is completely lost. After captures, we have captures, simply captures, 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 and the white will be up a whole rook. So after queen to h4, uh, there is uh, there is really no good move here. So rook, uh, queen captures on a2 was played, and now uh, Nakamura has several ways of uh, dealing with this position. You can simply capture uh, capture the knight on e8 and then go for rook captures on g7. Uh, but Nakamura uh, plays a nicer idea. Bishop to h6. And now there really isn't uh, anything to do. Of course, capturing is impossible due to rook to g8 checkmate. And uh, after what was played, king to g8, and now we have bishop captures here. Uh, and queen to a3. Uh, queen to a3 is very much necessary, uh, but uh, doesn't really help uh, in any way. After rook captures bishop, then you get rook captures. And after rook captures, rook captures. Uh, of course, king to h8, and now after queen captures on f6, there is no defense here. Queen captures on c2, check, and now rook blocks, uh, and uh, by blocking check, also the queen now delivers checkmate. Uh, so after bishop captures, we have queen to a3, uh, and here Nakamura plays bishop captures on g7. It's a completely winning move, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a longer win. Uh, better yet was rook captures, because now... Uh, you have rook captures, rook captures here, and after king h8, now, of course, uh, queen to f6 will be met uh, with uh, queen returning, and it will uh, prolong mate for some time. Uh, but after rook g8 check, simply king is forced to capture, and now queen g4 check, uh, king has to move, and now queen to g7 will be checkmate. So yeah, uh, after queen to a3, uh, bishop captures on g7 was played, uh, bishop captures, and now bishop captures on f6, opening up a discovered check from the rooks. Uh, bishop g6, we have pawn captures, now king moves from the g-file, uh, g captures on h7, threatening h8 queen, uh, rook captures, queen captures, and here there is really nothing to do anymore. Queen d6 check, uh, Komodo, uh, at least on this level, it doesn't seem to be able to resign, so here uh, even, even the queen is uh, <laughs> given bishop captures, and after king here, uh, Nakamura even delivers checkmate to Komodo, the, the dragon engine. So rook to g8, and this is checkmate. So yeah, uh, a very nice game by Nakamura against uh, Komodo level 14, and uh, it's interesting, uh, yeah, we already said that he defeated all 13 levels prior to level 14, and he defeated all levels uh, up to level 19, and he defeated level 19, and only uh, he lost one game, and that's the Komodo level 20. Uh, I'll also, ch uh, I, I, if you want, I can also show that game as, as it's very nice. And then after these 20 games, uh, Nakamura faced uh, an even stronger uh, uh, Komodo engine called uh, Komodo Mon uh, Monte Carlo. And uh, here I did prepare some, uh, it's from an article by Peter Dodgers on chess.com. Uh, as you can see, in this three games, uh, all with 10 minutes uh, plus 5 seconds increment, Komodo Monte Carlo was running on a powerful 16-core computer, uh, i9-7960X, uh, overclocked to 4.1 GHz, 64 GB of RAM, and uh, 5-piece uh, ZigZi endgame table bases. Okay. And the key difference uh, is that uh, Komodo Monte Carlo chooses its moves by win probability instead of traditional evaluation. Uh, the approach is similar to the probabilistic methods of the machine learning chess projects AlphaZero and Lila Chess. 
So very interesting, but against the Komodo Monte Carlo, Nakamura did not play regular chess. Uh, rather, uh, of course, uh, the, the strong engine had to give Nakamura odds. And in all three games, the, the odds were different and were very interesting. So I'll put, I will put a link to the original article. Uh, you're v very welcome to check it out and uh, check out all of the games there, especially the three games against uh, Komodo Monte Carlo. So yeah, uh, that's uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Thomas Thompson and Oliver Purge for a contribution to my channel, and uh, you know, uh, congratulations Oliver on your three and a half points <laughs> out of fifteen, and you know, play less poker, more chess. So yeah, uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you soon uh, with uh, hopefully a nice video. And I almost forgot. Uh, yeah, I did prepare a photo challenge for this video. Uh, so here it is, best of luck to everyone, you all know who it is, so I'm pretty sure you're gonna really nail this one. Here it is, uh, who is this very nice gentleman. So yeah, uh, that's it, uh, thank you all and I will see you soon.